welcome to Viral Videos. After a day of speculations and concerns over the future of Huawei and their consumers, the U.S. Department of Commerce has temporarily uplifted the ban on trade with Huawei to help the company serve its consumers without any disruption and let the company prepare for tough times ahead. The license is uplifted till August 19, 2019, to help Huawei continue to serve its customers during the time of migration. The temporary license uplift means that Huawei will be able to work with Google, Intel, Qualcomm and other companies which had to stop working with Huawei as a result of trade blacklist with the company. Original story, in a surprise move, Google has halted its business operations with Huawei, one of the leading mobile phone manufacturers in the world. Effective immediately, a report by Reuters notes. The halted business streams include anything in relation to the transfer of hardware and software products except the open source ones. If accurate. This can send shockwaves across the world and massively impact Huawei users and businesses all over the world. Well if you are new in this channel then please subscribe this channel. Like and share this and obviously don't forget to click on the bell icon remember we are always in care of you with news interesting news updates. According to Reuters. Huawei Technologies Co. Limited will immediately lose access to updates to the Android operating system. And the next version of its smartphones outside of China will also lose access to popular applications and services including the Google Play Store and Gmail app. During the holy month of Ramadan, many smartphone companies have reduced the prices of some of their top-selling smartphones. From Huawei to Oppo to Xiaomi to Vivo will have been offering discounts on various mid-range and budget-friendly smartphones. As of now, Honor, the sub-brand of world's second-largest phone maker Huawei, has also reduced prices of some of its smartphones and the company is also offering amazing gifts to early buyers, as noted in a Facebook post. Honor is offering up to 12% discount on some of its recent phones. The new price of Honor's dual camera mid-range phone Honor 8X is 39,999 rupees. The Honor 8C will sell for us 27,799 whereas the updated price of Honor's latest budget offering with water drop notch Honor 8S is 18,999 rupees. Meanwhile, Honor 10 Lite, the company's mid-range smartphone, which has an excellent processing front that provides a high-end performance, is now going to sell at 34,999 rupees. The Honor 7C will now cost you us 24,999, whereas the budget-friendly Honor 7S is worth 16,999 rupees. No talk about five major reasons why halting Android license for Huawei is Google's own loss. The US-based tech giant Google has confirmed that it has suspended business activity with Chinese tech giant Huawei that involves the transfer of hardware, software, and key technical services. The ban on Huawei is due to the U.S. government's strict policy for Chinese companies as President Donald Trump has barred U.S. companies from engaging in technology services trade with foreign companies poised to threaten American national security. In simple words, it means that Huawei has lost access to Android license, effective immediately complete with Google services and will instead have to use an open-source version for future smartphones. Though the new decision doesn't affect current users of Huawei devices and they will continue to receive security updates and after-sales services, covering those which have been sold or still in stock globally. According to market researchers, this ban on Huawei could cause big problems for the company internationally, where nearly half of its smartphone shipments go. Other Huawei suppliers
including Qualcomm and Intel, will also not sell to the Chinese firm until further notice. Though Huawei will greatly suffer from the recent breakup and it is going to be a humongous task for Huawei to develop its own branded Android-compatible app store but breaking ties with Huawei will also hurt Google a lot. In my opinion, these are the five things that will hurt Google most. 1. Google will lose millions of Play Store users. Huawei is the second largest phone maker in the world with around 20% market share in the global smartphone shipments and the stats from Q1 2019 revealed that Huawei shipped around 60 million phones in that quarter. Google's move to ban Huawei's upcoming devices from using Play Store would eventually result in the huge drop of Google Play Store users which will impact developers all over the world. 2. No. Of Android OS users will see a major downfall restricting upcoming Huawei phones from Android OS platform could be the biggest mistake of Google as the company will lose a major chunk from the OS industry. If Huawei smartphone users in future don't access Google's proprietary services like Gmail, Google Play, Google Search and other apps, the tech behemoth will have to face the consequences through a sharp decline in their revenues. 3. Huawei could still use Android open source platform without paying Google. Huawei will have to manually access any UPD ATIS or software patches from Android open source project. Well, thank you for watching viral videos. Stay with us. We will be soon with new update videos. Thanks again.